it's exponentially more enjoyable the more people are sharing that with you. Hi, John. Hey. How's it going? It's going great. Good. Um, so congratulations on the Thanks. Lion King. Thanks. Um, so it looks like you've had such fun like making yes. this. Is there an underlying pressure that you had doing this? Well, when I see somebody with so many cats on their shirt, I feel the pressure <laughs> of, did we get the cat? It's a cat movie. I, I'm, I'm also, by the way, I've, I, I don't show this that often, but I'm That's doing, amazing. There we go. Same amazing. Right there. Love it. Um, Part of part of what inspired us was, you know, the what you could do with the photorealistic animation, and how beautiful these animals could move and work, and and working with the story, but still presenting something that feels like it's real, felt like an interesting opportunity for a story that everybody already loves and knows, and and the and the movie from 25 years ago still holds up incredibly well. So, using what I learned on Jungle Book to apply it to this, I was hoping that along with a new cast and new interpretations of the songs would be something that would bring new life to the story that everybody loves already. The start of it for me, there's like goosebumps, like uh -huh. as the sun comes up and so yes. the life kicks in. Yes. Is there a kind of moment in this for you that really gave you those goosebumps other than that? That does, the music really, is what I really learned over the course of this whole thing is that you could have, you know, held up still images and, and played Hans Zimmer's score and felt almost as much as you feel from, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, this movie. Uh, music is such an emotional touchstone, especially when it, it connects you to the experience of either seeing the stage show or, or the original film. Um, so anything that the, the strongest moments connect with music, whether it's Lebo M's voice at the beginning when the sun rises up, or um, the, the, just the theme that swells through the whole film, there's really not a, every, every, uh, every musical uh, phrase is memorable in this. And then, of course, the new interpretations of the actors, uh, they really bring a whole new new feeling to it. Um, so those are, that, you know, the, each, each musical moment are the ones that catch me emotionally. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. I think you've obviously got such a deep embedded love for movies and I mm -hmm. used to work as a cinema rusher mm -hmm. back in the day mm -hmm. as, a, yes. as a cinema chain like yes. obviously we have a lot of people that are yes. really interested what was do you have any favorite like moments from when you used to do that that really like got you into how you feel about I movies like now? you know Return of the Jedi was playing in the theater when I was an usher and I remember watching um there were certain sequences from that film uh action sequences that would play over and over again, or Jabba's lair, or the sail barge. You know, there's, you start to, as an usher, you, you, you kind of know when, uh, a, a, you know, the sequence is coming up, and you just pop your head in and check it out. And, you know, it, it, just watching cinema is, is, is great film school. Whether you're watching old movies, now you could rent them, or you could just look at them streaming or on YouTube. But back then, you would have to really seek them out at, at, at revival houses that would watch it. So. Yeah, I do love movies, and, and if you look at Lion King, you see there's lots of little references. There's a little reference in there when Timon and Pumbaa show up, it's Lawrence of Arabia. We looked at that footage. We looked at the footage from um, Man for All Seasons for when Mufasa first emerges from the sun. So I think that there's always, so we're not just referencing Disney films, but you know, that's the context. And working with Caleb Deschanel, great cinematographer, you know, we always talk about what movies are inspiring each sequence. <laughs> And um, as a cinema chain as well, we always like to ask, what's your most favorite thing about going to watch a film, sitting in front of the big screen? There's something about the, the, the communal experience that we really yearn for as humans. We love being together, experience something, usually emotional. Music is a real quick way to get there. Food yeah. does it too sometimes. <laughs> but certainly listening to music, looking at the, you know, there's something magical about uh, seeing a larger than life image that's just glowing in the darkness. It, it, cinema is not, it, for a long time there, cinema was the default medium and that's not the case anymore. 
And so it really makes you examine what is it about seeing a, a, ex experiencing a movie in a theater that is something that you can't, what is it so unique about it and what do you want to see in the theater that you can't just wait to see it at home? Because people have great screens at home and great sound systems. Like, I love watching things at home too. But there are certain things, I know with The Lion King, because so much detail is in there and the music is so moving and there's so much emotion and so much laughter. Those are the things that I like to go to the movies to see because that's something that it feels like it's, uh, it, it's exponentially more enjoyable the more people are sharing that with you. And, uh, and, and seeing the film on the big screen for the first time, which, you know, we're working in dark rooms for three years. <laughs> and then finally we go to the premiere in Los Angeles and here in Leicester Square and seeing, uh, the feeling the energy of the audience reacting to it makes it a whole new experience. And so there's nothing, you can't see a movie for the first time again, but I know when I see a classic film coming to a revival house near where I live, I'll bring my kids who've never seen it before and you get to experience it through their eyes. So there's something that connects us very much communally when we share that experience of sitting in a dark room and seeing a story. You must take your place. and the circle of life.